Hello everyone, welcome to Anu's classroom. So we are talking about MMPP1, that is the MBA project course as per the new IGNO MBA syllabus. In case you are hearing some background noises, I am extremely sorry about that. There is some construction go work going on near my house and um, I couldn't avoid that background noise. Okay, so extremely sorry once again about that. Uh, so in this session, so far in this uh, course on the MMPP1 project work, we discussed about uh, what exactly a project is, how you have to prepare a synopsis, how you can select topics, what are the various types of topics that are available, how you can find sample size that is ideal for your research topic. So in this video, we will talk about once you have collected your primary data, we have to analyze the data. So we'll talk about how we can analyze the data. Now, data analysis, before you can do data analysis, you'll have to definitely clean and prep your data. And how we clean and prep your data is, it actually depends upon the quality of data that you collect. Quality as in if uh, the responses are unbiased, if the responses are complete, like there is no missing answers for any questions. Okay, and the clarity with which if there are short answer or long answer type questions, the clarity with which the answers have been given, how we can transform that. Uh, so somehow we will have to transform that particular um, short answer, descriptive answers to something measurable. Like if you have seen recently, uh, since some time, if you go check Amazon, okay, review section, you will see uh, that, uh, especially in the mobile app, I have noticed, I usually browse Amazon through mobile, let me be honest. I don't know whether this thing, how it will look like in desktop version, you guys can go check it out. But if you see, uh, when you click on that reviews part, right, you will see AI generated uh, data on a su descriptive summary that is AI generated which uh, gives you an overall picture of what people are saying about, have been saying about this particular project. So how does AI create that? It is, so whatever we are typing and giving, no, like every input that we give, every review that we give, uh, it is uh, taken up as a data, okay? And uh, they might have been employing, so Amazon means definitely they'll be going for Amazon Web Services, which is a cloud-based product for analyzing big data there are a lot of features available so uh, what they will do right they would have some natural language processing we call nlp algorithms which will uh, which can detect uh, what you can say whether that review is positive or negative and even the degree of positive and negative like is it highly negative highly positive and it can also filter out keywords like very good camera so that means it is a positive thing too much heating issue so that is it will take it as a negative so somehow there are algorithms for that, that this uh, AI, artificial intelligence bot, it is able to extract the emotion out of this particular review that we give and provide an overall picture. Okay, they might even put word counts for keywords like heating, battery, backup, camera quality, low light, okay, um, or uh, slowness. Some, some keywords also they will be having based on which uh, they might count the occurrences of such keywords and they might bring up analysis data for you. So all these things, what I'm saying uh, is done through analyzing the data. So we will also have to analyze our data. And we don't have AI capabilities, nor do we have supercomputers at our home, right? So rather, that is why while I was uh, talking about it, while we are discussing on how to design questionnaires also, I said, keep the number of short answer or descriptive type questions to the minimum because we will have to do this sentiment analysis on them, okay? So keep them to the minimum, maximum we will try to put uh, like multiple choice or uh, uh, what you can say checkbox, Likert scale, ranking type of questions, maximum, okay. Uh, so yeah, that being said, how we can start analyzing the data once we clean it, correct it and all those things, right. So correction is again nothing but uh, let's say uh, uh, what you can say, some questions, answers people might, if you are not involved in collecting the answers by yourself, they might put contract contrary things like are you employed no how much is your average sal annual salary 10 lakhs how is it you're not employed you don't run a business okay so, or maybe uh, maybe they have some other fixed income fd in their end that is how they are getting annual income of 10 lakhs we don't know right or maybe uh, they have some assets which they're getting so what will happen from uh, what will happen is that it won't match like you're saying you're unemployed, but you're getting annual salary of 10 lakhs. How is that possible, right? So we might have to go back to that respondent and check up, say, hey, uh, you have marked like this. You have told that you have this annual income like this, but you're saying you're not employed. So what is the scenario there? 
so then based upon that, uh, based upon their response, maybe they might have clicked no instead of yes, maybe. So in that case, you'll have to go back and change the response to yes. So that all these things come as part of prepping data that we say. So those things we will have to do. And uh, that is a very vast topic, something which we can't cover in a session or something like that. So the best thing I would say for prepping up of data in case you have doubts is to contact your guide itself. Right? They will be able to guide you better than me in this scenario on how you can prep your data. Definitely from IGNO side, uh, we have had uh, small, small sessions on how we can prep data in your MMPP 5 first semester as well as uh, in unit 15 or sorry in uh, MMPP 15 in third semester also they have been talking about how you can clean prep and all right so that is the thing and since it is something that is uh, what you can say quite uh, what can I say something quite uh, customizable prepping and cleaning of data right so maybe while we are uh, doing a hands-on we will I'll be able to show you some samples of how we can clean or prep the data right so right now in this video we'll talk about analyzing the data and analyzing the data if you remember in your first semester and in your third semester uh, in this quantitative techniques we have studied many many analysis methods if you remember correlation me finding the mean finding the variance finding the correlation uh, all those kind of things chi-square tests n-square test k, k, k test all k means test all these things right all of these are analysis techniques used for analyzing the data. Now, the question comes as to which analysis method you have to use in your project, right? So, in order to choose the analysis method that you will have to employ in order to analyze your primary data, you should check closely what your objective is, okay? Like, for example, if one of the objectives in your project was to determine the relationship between internet advertising and purchase decision say for example okay so this is something related to marketing right so similarly hr people operations people the key word over here that i want to stress is determine the relationship okay between two variables in this example i have taken the variables as internet advertising and purchase decision so overall this objective is trying to measure whether internet advertising will affect our purchase decision or not and if it does to what degree right so this is the objective definitely you tell you guys tell me what kind of an analysis method would best suit in this case we will have to go for a correlation test right to in order to find out whether they are dependent and if so to what degree we will get to know if we apply a correlation here correct so that is what again it also depends upon the type of data collected like for example so according to this, uh, yeah, so again, you have to understand that while you are analyzing the data in order to find out this relationship, okay, between internet uh, advertising and purchase decision or between two variables, what all data you will have to collect also you will have to know, right? In case you have an objective like this, but you haven't put up a question similar to that, or you, you don't have a question or a, a set of questions which would help you to determine this, okay? Uh, relationship between variables then you cannot determine with the data you collected right so in case you have this objective of finding the relationship then you will have to collect data on uh, the mode of advertising that mostly influenced people's purchasing decision okay and whether internet ads they come across or we come across do influence the purchase decision and then once we have these two data then we can apply our regression model uh, Okay, correlation will get you whether they are related. Regression model will give you the strength of that relationship, right? So, we can apply regression model on that data and it will help us in determining the relationship between internet advertising and purchase decision. So, this is how you have to analyze your data. So, depending upon your objective, you have to pick up which all questions will help you in answering this question and from there, you have to apply useful models. Sometimes, you will have to apply average. Sometimes you will have to apply a standard deviation. Sometimes you have to apply such regression models. Sometimes you will have to go for some K-means test or something like that. It all depends upon your objective. It is not one size fits all. Okay. It is totally customized, totally personalized. The type of analysis method you have to do, apply in your particular project is not something which a third person who does not have any idea of what you are trying to achieve could suggest. Right without knowing any background on the type of data you collected or your objective or your questions 
uh, or the quality of your data set you cannot understand how you can it is not ideal to suggest some random uh, analysis technique because that will not suit you so that being said how do you know or how do the person who is first time doing their project know which method to use right so i would suggest in case you are finding it difficult to identify which method would be best suitable i would first suggest you guys to brush up on your first semester quantitative analysis module okay that the course for, and still if it doesn't answer your question reread your mmpc 15 okay research methodology and by that time you should have some idea you might have at least have some 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 idea okay because you would know by then that these are the available tests that igno has taught us so which could be applied you will get at least some far shorted answers take it to your guide okay and tell them ask them to please guide you on which of the methods that we uh, have discussed in our igno uh, quantitative methods as well as mmpp mmpc 15 okay research methodology would best suit your case your guide is the best person who can guide you on which analysis method to use and where it can be used for your particular project and that is the reason why again it is very important that you choose a good approved guide okay somebody who knows how to do a project rather than any random person who has some mb or something if you actually want that guidance you will definitely need to pick up someone who is either an approved igno counselor because at least they will know at least one or two projects they might have guided so they would they would know and otherwise if it is another if it is a teacher from some other university or some other college then also they will know because they would also have been guiding students right other than that if it is a working professional and and all know chances are less that uh, maybe sometimes they might not be able to guide you properly because of their own uh, busy schedule and all so just make sure that you when you select a guide they should be able to guide you on all these concepts also because you will have to analyze the data right if you have to find out the relationship between two things and if you find a mean find the mean and key it's not going to work right your project is going to get rejected so this is the thing there how do you know best if you have if you are not able to find it out or if you are not able to identify it even after Uh, re-reading uh, quantitative techniques and research methodology that is first semester to, uh, first semester uh, mmpp5 mmpc5 and third semester's mmpc15 definitely you have you have to check with your guide and another question is can you tell me that is can anus classroom suggest which method can be used my again since this is an online platform and uh, i am not an approved guide i i there are limitations to my knowledge also right Uh, i am not saying that i am you know i i am a know it all no i am not so there are limitations to my knowledge i will not be the best person but given my knowledge i will try my best to help you out but uh, i wouldn't suggest that i suggest you go and check with your guide itself because whatever i know definitely i am i am uh, telling you guys through anus classroom uh, i'm not saying you should not ask me at all but i am not the best person to ask neither am i the right person to ask for uh, advice on which method you have to use in your project that should be asked to your guide that is the right person to ask that is the right person to get answer from in case you are having doubts because finally i am not the one who's having going to sign your uh, report that guide is going to right so yeah that is the yeah, my answer for this particular question how to apply a data analysis method again as i said right if it is a regression model you have to apply then definitely you will need to have a dependent variable and independent variable and you need to have some data which could help indicate that uh, relationship so once you have isolated the variables and you have the data you can apply that method if you are having difficulty in isolating which variable or uh, how you can find the uh, what you can say the mean or median or something like that again contact your guide that is the best person they will be able to guide you on how you can apply your data analysis i am sure your guides would be considerate enough to help you out on that especially because igno being such a wide open university network and most people who might be joining mba may not be from a commerce background or may not be very good at math or things like that so I I am hopeful that the guides would be supportive, approved counselors would be supportive at the least to guide you on those things, right? 
yeah so in case you've got any questions apart from this do leave it in the comment section below i'll try my best to respond to them either through comments or i might even if there are more questions i might do it in a separate video okay so thank you so much for tuning into anu's classroom in case you are uh, wondering where to get mmpp one's official guidelines you can scan the qr code uh, qr code that you see on your screen and we'll take you there so once again thank you so much and happy project work